Have you noticed any change in Hector? Have you noticed any change in Hector ever since he's had these new allies? Don't speak ill. I'm not speaking ill. I was just saying, he's just not the same man anymore. He takes risks he would never have taken in the old days. But it pays off. Yeah, but for whom? He gets out of everything without a scratch. But what about us? How many of us have been killed recently? We had higher losses than ever. Do you blame our master for false decisions? No. How, how dare you say such a thing? Well, what are you getting at? It's just that, you know. Have you noticed any change in Hector ever since he had his new allies? Ah, it's you. I should have known that you'd break free sooner or later. Now you know why we did not want to work with Tusker. He can't be trusted. How do you know me? Simple. We've been watching you. It's a wonder our enemy hasn't found you and finished you by now. The way you act around the city. Tusker got me on board this galley and that's what counts. Even if he got you here in chains? If you knew I was here, why didn't you free me? Why should I? Are we allies? Last thing I knew, you were working for the dark side. As far as I'm concerned, you got what you deserved for it. You're right. I work together with the wrong people. At least remember for the future, that there is always a hidden catch when working together with people like Tusker. What are you doing here? We boatmen are not all as we seem. The gondoliers are the oldest order of Venice, and for years we've cared for the people, doing what needs to be done to help and protect them. But help and protection is often best done in secret. As you may now know, we're here to steal medicine from the galley. The occupants have been blocking all deliveries of food and medicine. Because of them, people are dying. All in the name of breaking the public spirit. Disgraceful. And they're going to keep it up. Because unless the people give in and help them in their search, they'll never find who they're looking for. By the way, you don't have any idea who they might be searching for? Any idea who might be responsible for this whole thing? They're looking for me. Well, I'm glad you trust me. Even though I have no idea what you've done to rub the doge up the wrong way, it appears we do have the same aim. I need to find a prisoner of theirs. His name is Sophistos. Sophistos? Of all people. Well, I'm afraid you may already be too late. He's being interrogated in the throne room, with a guard on permanent duty. You'll need a watchword to get in. Listen, here's a suggestion. I need you to get me three parcels of medicine from the upper deck. It's risky, but if you do this, 
I'll know I can trust you. Then, I'll take you to a place where you can find out the password. And because we could do with staying in the shadows, it'd be good if you did the same. Get me the parcels without killing anybody on the upper deck, and I'll make it especially worth your while. Now go, and come back when you have the medicine. The people of Venice are counting on you. Thank you. You did a great service to the Resistance. Unfortunately, you caused some trouble on the upper deck. But that does not matter much. Now I will take you to the place where you will find what you are looking for. Hurry up! Oh, an intruder! I'm doomed! <laughs> Welcome to the Palace of Venice, thief. You shall get nothing from me. Who are you? Who am I? You don't even know my name? What kind of lousy robber are you? You better get back to where you came from before I lose my temper. Give me the code to the Claw's throne room. <laughs> I am Prince Veridor, and I shall give you nothing. If you know what's good for you, you'll leave immediately. I have two guards waiting to assist me at any time of the day. So let me be, filthy little thief and try not to stay in the palace with your filthy feet on the way out. Why does an honorable man like yourself need to use such harsh words? Um, because I, well, you, uh, I, uh, what exactly is it that you're getting at? Someone with your education should surely prefer a conversation over a fight. No. Oh. You recognize my superior intelligence. I say, you seem to have better manners than I thought. I am so flustered. Uh, what was it that you wanted again? Just a little favor. A humble piece of information. No. Oh, it was such a long time ago that someone asked something of me in such a gentle way. The Doge will not be happy. But then again, the Doge is never happy with me. The code to that wretched ship. Yes, I know it. It is eternity. Conversation truly is the pastime of kings. It was a pleasure. No, that would be too much. Farewell, anyway. Get in, quick. I will bring you back to the galley now. When all of this is over, you will find me at the Inner City Tavern. Oh, and another thing. From now on, we gondoliers will offer you our services whenever you wish. This will make traveling a lot easier for you. And now, good luck. What's the password? Eternity. Correct. One last time, Sophistos. Will you work with me and tell me where the Black Grimoire is?
I will never collaborate with you, servant of evil. I am disappointed that you decline. Bring him back to where you took him. No one will look for him there, and the rats will not leave much evidence. So, you must be the troublemaker. I'm still amazed that you managed to slay one of our order, but don't think you stand a chance against me! I was born on the streets of Jericho. My mother and father were murdered by scum when I was a young child. Their ashes I kept by my side since that day. As I grew, I grew stronger. Fueled by rage and blinded by vengeance, I trained. Until one day, I took my revenge, and the murderers fell like flies to my wrath. From that day on, no one dared stand against me. With my bare hands, I built an empire by making allies and letting blood. And finally, my alliance with the undead Archon made me immortal. You are the only threat to the plan. None of us knew you existed. But this ends here, now. It'll be my pleasure to kill another of the Undead Five. If only you knew how many people had said that right before they died. Hit me with everything you've got. I won't even break a sweat. <laughs> Ah! 